I'd always been a cat person. Timmy, Frosty, Bert, Katie, Scooter, Peaches, Randy, just to name a few. Barky. But Jody and I flipped over our daughter's new dog, Barkley, and decided we just had to have one too, our first. And therein lies a tale. We spent weeks scouring the internet. Some were too big. 175 pounds. Ay, ay, ay. Some too small. Five pounds? No. And some just too much. $2,500? But look at that face. This one seemed just right. This could be it. Except the dog was in a rescue shelter in Easley, South Carolina. And we were here in an apartment in New York City. But they offered free delivery. They instructed us to meet them at the Vince Lombardi service area on the New Jersey Turnpike, which sounded a little shady. I never waited so long for anything in my life. Jody could almost hear the Sopranos theme song playing as she waited for the deal to go down on a rainy dog day afternoon. Oh my. But everything was on the up and up. Deborah from the shelter arrived after a 15-hour drive, her delivery wrapped with ribbons and bows. She's a, oh. She looks like a little lamb, doesn't oh. she? Yeah, she's she's sweet, adorable. Lamb You're cuter than your pictures. They said she was a terrier mix, but she looked more like a schnucksen doodle to me. She doesn't oh, look like our other too? kids. <laughs> now, I knew that raising a puppy would be a challenge, but I had no idea. You practically have to quit your job. First, we had to agree on a name. Buzzy, Birdie, Banjo. Terrible. Lucky. Awful. Fizzy, Loco. How about Yo-Yo? No. No. Finally, Jody picked one that actually fit. Daphne, just because it sounds so elegant. <laughs> yes. Yes, there You're she is. Elegant. There's Daphne now. You're elegant. Hi, Daphne. The struggle for a name was only the beginning. Let's go, Daph. Quickly. You have to get your dog out early or suffer the consequences. Morning. But you're not alone. <laughs> All manner of dogs and owners congregate in the park each morning when dogs can romp and wrestle unleashed. The minute you get a dog, it's like living in a small town and knowing everybody on the street and knowing all your neighbors. It's yeah. really great. <laughs> everybody knows the dog names. Nobody knows the people names. Everybody knows Fred. I yes. know that. Yes, and will you turn into Fred's mom or <laughs> Daphne's dad? Well put, Fred's mom. There's Ollie and Jersey, Tosca and Aspen, Millie and Buttons, Sammy, Toby, Hudson, and Apollo, just to name a few. The gang's all here. <laughs> of course, socializing is not the primary reason we're all up at this hour. At first, we had to walk her up to two hours at a time to get any results. Six times a day. You do the math. You find yourself doing things you vowed you'd never do. You know how cats use litter boxes and babies use diapers? Dogs don't. What's it worth to have someone else handle the job? <laughs> Priceless. That's what Brian and Randy call their dog service. Madison, come here, sit. Walking 12 dogs this morning at $15 each, they're really cleaning up, so to speak. <laughs> Brian and Randy also provide doggy daycare in a Manhattan apartment, sometimes with live entertainment. They must have very understanding or hearing impaired neighbors. Oh. Daphne came to us totally untrained. We tried some instructional videos. And can you imagine now that I can go, come on. And I can go, here. Nice. And call her into me. And I can Daphne, go, come. Daphne. <laughs> I don't think we have any respect. Clearly, Daphne, professional oh. help was needed. You show her a treat. With private sessions costing $125 an hour. Good boy. We decided to check out a class conducted by Phyllis of the Follow My Lead Training Academy. Good, 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 good. good Drop it on the ground. There, Daph. Good. Daphne, come. Faster. <laughs> All right, then. 
Do you think there's hope Just, for? I think probably. <laughs> I think probably if our owners learned a few tricks. Yeah, yeah right? exactly. Yeah. As first time dog owners, we had an immediate need for lots of dog stuff. We hit Zoomies, a dog boutique in New York's fashionable West Village. Where would you like to start? You want to start with uh, the collars and leashes? Hey, yeah. I think probably orange would be the best for her, especially okay. in the summertime. Daphne, look oh, at this. Oh, and a matching leash. And a uh, matching leash. leash, Daphne. Is this a raincoat? Well, this is an all-weather coat. It's oh, our awesome. Zoomy Sport line, and you can tell our Sport line by our, our logo. These beds are all machine washable. Hyperallergenic oh, polyfill. You know what they say about orange? Goes with everything. The jackets ran $50 to $120. Susan here thought Daphne needed a whole wardrobe. And face it, she did look marvelous in everything. We have the first biscuit bar for dogs in New York. There's no sugar, no salt, no butter. Smell this, this is gingerbread. Dogs can even share them with their humans. We'll give you a glass of water. But be careful not to eat too many. Doesn't it taste good? Come on, Daph. Funny how a practically free shelter dog can wind up costing a fortune. Now, our fashionable young girl about town needed to be properly coiffed. Hey, Hi. how are you? My name is Tommy. You have to make an appointment with the renowned Tommy Majeri two weeks in advance. Kind of like the shabby chic look. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like Benji. Kind of scruffy. If I go home and she looks like a show poodle, I'm going to get kicked out of the house. No. He's been called the Vidal Sassoon of dog grooming. We're going to give her a nice oatmeal bath. Oatmeal. And has brought his art to dogs in Rome and Vegas. All of which scares me, frankly. A purple dog with a mohawk was... Yeah, that'd be too fun. There were a few alarming moments for her and for me. It's like she's a balding man. She's comb oh. combing it forward. Okay, the Donald Trump. <laughs> but in the end, she looked fabulous. Look at you. So good, I felt like I needed an oatmeal bath myself just to be seen with her. Daphne? I don't think we're in Easley, South Carolina anymore. <laughs>